Hey guys, welcome to Tech Radar. My name's James and I'm going to talk you through the Honor 7X, which is the sequel to the Honor 6X, a mid-range phone that we really loved. So let's jump into it. The Honor 7X is available to buy now. It's going to cost you around $199 or around £279 if you live in the UK, but that price may fluctuate a little bit though. So one of the highlights of this phone is the 18 by 9 aspect ratio display. We've seen this on a lot of flagships this year, but this is the first time we've seen it on a mid-range phone. It's a very sharp screen, full HD+, plus, so just a little bit more than you'd expect on a 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen. The Honor 7X is a solid, well put together phone. It's a full metal unibody design and it feels really premium in the hand. It won't feel as premium as most flagship phones, but at this mid-range price, it does feel really comfortable to hold. So the Honor 7X has a dual camera setup, but it's not the same as on the Honor 9, the more expensive flagship product. Instead, it's a 16 megapixel sensor paired with a two megapixel depth sensing sensor. We found the Honor 7X shot really well for well-lit shots, but it does struggle a little bit in the nighttime. If you're looking at darker shots, you will see a lot of noise in some of the images. Now the two megapixel depth sensing sensor comes in when you're using the wide aperture mode, which is fun to play around with, but it's not as accurate as on other products, including the Honor 9, where the cutout of a person in portrait mode will look a little bit more accurate than on this mid-range phone. There are lots of extra features here. There's a manual mode, and there's also something called light painting, which allows you to shoot in the dark and make some light trails within your images. You can see some of the examples on your screen now. For video, you're able to shoot at 1080p, but there's nothing more there, while for the secondary camera on the front, it's an 8 megapixel selfie sensor, which we also found worked well. So the Honor 7X is currently running a Motion UI 5.1 software. That's a tailored version of Android 7 from Honor itself. Now, at the moment, we don't know when the Android 8 version of that will be landing onto the Honor 7X, but the company has confirmed to us that it will come in the near future. We found the software works well on the phone, but we are excited for the new version of Emotion UI coming soon. This is probably one of the best mid-range phones around at the moment to watch video on because of that 18 by 9 aspect ratio display, which is sharp, it's clear, and it's really bright. If you're a fan of using wired headsets, you're in luck with the Honor 7X. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom of the phone. Next to that also sits the speaker, but we found that was quite easy to cover up when you're watching video. Inside the phone is Honor's own Kirin 659 chipset, which isn't a top of the range model. Instead, it's around the mid-range and we found that worked quite well. Sometimes it does struggle a little bit when you're gaming. If you're using intensive games especially, it will struggle a little bit. But all in all, most apps run quite well on this phone. That said, we've used the 4GB of RAM version of the Honor 7X, but there is a 3GB of RAM version which we haven't tested yet. I think that's especially for the US. You also need to note that there's no NFC on this phone, so you won't be able to use Android Pay. The Honor 7X has a 3340 milliamp battery, which we found gave quite good battery life, but nothing particularly impressive. It will last you a full day of normal usage, but if you're gonna be intensively using this phone, you may find that you need to charge up a little bit during the day. One of the features we found missing from this phone was fast charging, so it does take a little bit of time to charge up the phone, and it won't be as quick as, say, the Honor 9, and there's also no wireless charging either. So in summary, we've been impressed by the Honor 7X's screen and its premium design. Being able to get an 18 by nine ratio display in a mid-range phone right now is genuinely really impressive. There are a few missing features from the Honor 7X which you may struggle without, such as NFC, and there's also no fast charging, and that may be a problem for you. But if you're looking for a cheaper phone with that genuinely futuristic display, the Honor 7X is the best phone on the market right now for you. Be sure to read the rest of the review on techradio.com before you make your decision. Thanks for watching.